All right, hi, Ram fans, and welcome into Ram Vision, your basketball radio crew, along with Adam Nygon. I'm Brian Roth, where we're just uh, a little while away from the first round of the NIT for Moby Arena. Colorado State Rams set to take on the Cougars of the College of Charleston. We'll break down that matchup here in a moment, Adam, but first let's take a look back, rewind button that to Saturday in Mountain West Conference Championship game. Colorado State facing Nevada for the second time in a week. Nevada would get the win, but how about Colorado State? Down by as many as 16 in the first half of that game. Tied it at 51 with 10 minutes to go. They were down by one with 2.30 to go, but it was a common theme in that game. They just couldn't quite get over the hump. Yeah, you talked about it. Tied at 51. They had four possessions to actually go ahead in that ball game. A transition layup that doesn't quite go that leads to a three-point play on the other end that really just extended that lead a little too far for the Rams to climb back. Yeah, you just felt, I mean, if they did take the lead in that game, because you, you mentioned on the broadcast, I mean, all the pressure was on Nevada. They were the number one overall seed, and they knew they had to punch their ticket to the NCAA dance by winning that contest, just like the Rams, but weren't able to get it done. Gene Clavel, terrific again. Prentice Nixon played one of his better games, but alas, Colorado State not able to get the victory. So the consolation is the NIT, and that begins here tonight. And, you know, the question always is with the NIT, when you, when you don't make the NCAA tournament, What's the motivation? How was the motivation of this Ram team tonight coming into the tournament, Adam? I, I would have to think this is a motivated team that wants to continue the year. Yeah, this is a team that just loves to play basketball. In the post-game interview, Steve Barnes telling us that if they could play tomorrow, they would. They just want to be out here. They love playing basketball. And then the fact that they're playing extra games going late into March, that can only bode well for those younger guys moving forward. All right, so it's going to be a little different. We've played Mountain West Conference basketball the last two and a half months. Teams, you know players you know, scouting reports that are familiar. Now the Rams taking on College of Charleston coming from across the country, playing out of the Colonial Athletic Association. They lost to UNC Wilmington in the championship game. Wilmington on to the NCAA tournament. Of course, that's a one-bid league. What should we expect tonight from the Cougars? They're led by Joe Cheeley. Their leading scorer, six foot four guard, averaging about 18 points a game. Well, this team really defends well. They're top 25 in scoring defense at 64 points allowed per game. And they also defend the three well. They only allow their opponents to shoot 30% from the three point line. So they really are going to get after you defensively. And on offense, they're 318th in tempo. So they're going to slow you down, move the basketball around, and really wait for that best shot. You know, a lot of Ram fans out there probably saying, okay, College of Charleston. Uh, book a win for Colorado State. The Vegas oddmakers only have the Rams favored by three and a half. This is a team that won 25 games. Colonial Athletic Association, according to the RPI, 11th best conference in the nation. Round West Conference was 10th, so the conferences are comparable. But hey, listen, in my book, Adam, I mean, if you win 25 games in a season, you're good. Yeah, and you look at their nine losses, four of those have been to University of Central Florida, Villanova defending champion, LSU, and Wake Forest. So those are all huge Division I games that they didn't win. So really five main losses for that team. Yep, uh, again, UNC Wilmington, a couple of those losses is now into the NCAA tournament. Hey, listen, it should be fun tonight, an opportunity to see the Magnificent Seven at least one more time, but you, but you hope, boy, you can get three wins you're on to Madison Square Garden and take a big step forward going into next year. Should be fun. 7 o'clock to tip off tonight here from Moby Arena. It's Colorado State and College of Charleston. We hope you can make it on out. For Adam Nygon, I'm Brian Roth. Thanks for watching Ram Visual.